This painter was born in Antwerp in 1848 and studied at the Antwerp Academy of Fine Arts. Later, in 1876, he settled in Paris. He exhibited internationally, meeting Jan van Beers, who would strongly influence his art through his detailed painting and his humor. His drawing quality was sharp and his colors strong. Apart from some still lives, seascapes and landscapes, the main body of his work would be composed of portraits, women in interiors, and cardinals in interiors. He was an excellent portraitist. Thanks to his outstanding attention to detail, he even sometimes reminds us of the Flemish old masters. The portraits he executed were most often commissions in the traditional sense of the term. He would also paint women in interiors as a new type of genre scene. These women, dressed or sometimes undressed, were always represented in dreamlike interiors with an exceptional rendering of color and fabric. In his paintings, he would absorb some fashionable Japanese and Orientalism elements, however, staying true to his own style. Richly decorated and so precise that one enjoys wandering through the details of each object of his paintings. Scientific research was increasingly detailed, inventions mastered, what had started with the Age of Enlightenment and with the Industrial Revolution had now grown in the 19th century to a sharply tuned society. The church, slowly losing power over the people, settled in their traditional and old ways. The cardinals and other clericals would become the center of many satires. These clerical subjects were so popular that many artists would specialize in them, such as Jean-Georges Vibert, Charles-Édouard Delors, Andrea Landini, Henri Brispeau, Victor Marémilton, and Marcel Bruneri. In this painting, we see the attention to detail specific to the artist, and the velvets shining in an interior with luxurious French furniture. Through his detailed style, we can enjoy the humoristic excess and lavish lives of these cardinals. He exhibited regularly in the Salon de Paris for 30 years, and was represented by the Galerie Georges Petit, alongside Auguste Rodin, Claude Monet, and Alfred Sisley. This would give him an international renown. This painter is Georges Cougart, a Belgian painter who lived and worked in Paris. This very confidential painter would make sure that we would talk about him for generations to come through his uniquely detailed works as a virtuoso and his great humor.